Transformation just like me, just like me. What was that song, y'all? Da -na 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 -na. Close to me. I don't know the words, y'all know. I'm keeping my day job. All right, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Shout out to the beautiful Monica. Amen. Amen, Monica. <laughs> Oh, and uh, Penny, you asked for the assistance or just some a video on the vision board, and I'm going to do that. That's going to be the next video after this one. Don't include the ones for the Zodiacs because those don't count. I'm going to do those. But the next main video after this, I'm going to share with you some tips on the vision board, and then I'm going to attach a partial document that I use during my coaching programs that help you move through some of the limiting beliefs and some of the other stumbling blocks. It'll be a tip sheet as well as an exercise activity sheet. So I'm going to put that in, you guys. Woo! And I have not forgotten the weight loss challenge. I am almost at the 30-day mark, y'all, and I think I've lost about seven pounds. Um... I need to lose about another good five between now and the middle of February. And when I feel confident enough that I can do that and lead myself, then I will talk to y'all about something. I feel like I, I, I don't want to be um, unable to even discipline myself to eat halfway decent and then be trying to talk about weight loss. So I'll still be on the weight loss journey with you all. Even after that two week period, I'll probably, because I'm changing the way that I eat overall. And I got to tell you, the joints feel good going up and down them doggone steps. I feel lighter. I didn't realize I was carrying around those extra pounds I was carrying around put me over 150. And y'all, I'm short. So you're going to see the shift in my face and it's going to take you a while to get used to it. Because whenever I lose weight, I lose it first in this backside and then I, I start to lose it in my face and it even takes me a minute to get used to myself. So, okay y'all, this is our daily healing inspiration and we're going to pull some cards today. I wanna start out first with the tarot. I wanna pull three tarot cards and then we're gonna go in on whatever comes up with those messages okay i'm going to collect the messages but i'm going to also speak about them separately okay so let's just take a moment to clear our energy okay it's my favorite stone i love this stone and just take a minute to ask the divine highlight in your mind whatever part of this message is for you and if it's for you it will resonate in your heart in some way it will speak to you individually remember these messages just reveal some of the magic that you can work with in your life magic however you want to define magic okay it's a message that may be calling out to you to pay attention to something and I like to use these cards as a way to manifest things. So if it resonates with you, manifest it. Focus your intentions, hold the vision, visualize that thing, be open to uh, it coming into your life in some particular way, all right? I don't know, I gotta, I gotta you know, y'all, when my eyes are drawn to things during, or that I'm not paying attention to, I gotta, so I've got to pull 
two messages from this deck. These are conversations. I got to do that before we even start. I want you to take this message how it applies. I'm not going to connect it to the reading necessarily. That's the first one. I don't think I've used this deck in forever. That's the message. And who is it for? Okay, messages from the heart. I have resolved feelings that I need to work through. Could apply to you, could apply to somebody else. Maybe there's some things you need to work through. Um, and you need to now speak about what conclusions you've come to, or perhaps there's someone that you're close to that has resolved feelings about something, and so now they're open to communicate with. There's more to this than I'm able to share with you right now. Okay, so they're trying to work through something, perhaps, and they haven't been very vocal about it. Maybe they're not ready, but they're in the process of working through something. This may be asking you to be patient. Look at what we have. I need some time to collect my thoughts on the bottom. Be patient. Give it time. Don't push anybody. They're not ready to talk about something. They're not giving you the answers you want. Just be patient. Observe and be patient. Three cards, y'all. Three cards. First one is the Five of Pentacles. That can be thoughts of scarcity. It can be spiritual impoverishment. It could be you having a difficult time financially. It could be emotional debt. It could be financial debt. It can also talk about health problems. We have the King of Swords kind of sideways and we have the Judgment reverse. So what it's looking like is that for some of you, there are some decisions that you are having to make that are going to require that you step into your power, the magician card, and not allow the lack of clarity, the lack of focus, and this vacillating back and forth energy with the judgment card reversed, or this inability to make a decision and to take charge of a situation to go in another direction. You could be feeling kind of victimized right now or feeling kind of downtrodden or somewhat hopeless or alone. Uh, without the necessary support you need and perhaps there's something that you're missing okay because this is a card of clarity this is a card of taking charge of a situation and being able to communicate what you need or being able to see your way through something okay with this card coming out questionable and with it also being flanked on both sides by this uh, you could be navigating something in your life right now, which feels pretty rough. Now, keep in mind that by and large, and I think that it's no mistake that we have this at the bottom of the deck, which says you can handle this. This says you've the resources, you've the mental game, you have uh, the pieces to the puzzle that you need, but you need only focus on clarity. You need only focus on a uh, unified intention and begin to move towards something and manifest it. But in this 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 murky water here, you may not be seeing those solutions, but spirit is saying you can handle this. In other words, you haven't gotten anything that we've had the four of wands and the knight of wands to fall out. You haven't gotten anything that is too grandiose for you or that is too large for you to take a bite out of. With this card here, you could be going through a difficult time. You could be feeling a bit downtrodden uh, around something. You could be feeling, I said, uh, you could be feeling rejected and neglected, but I feel more than anything else, you're feeling, some of you, as if you're in, the, in a bad way right now, in a difficult situation. Things are not going your way, and for some reason, you could have been procrastinating or holding off on making a decision about something because you are not clear. You could be not standing up for yourself in a situation when you need to stand up for yourself and speak your mind. All right. So whatever this um, difficulty is, whether it is the loss of a job or a strain in your finances or someone in your life who is not there for you in the way that you feel that they should be there for you 
or you've run into some type of difficulty because the five of pentacles can also be a strained relationship it can be you could be having housing difficulties problems and challenges your money could be slow right now you could be in the midst of a job transition whatever it is you're feeling kind of isolated you could be feeling a bit alone and things could be feeling indefinite right now and for sure i don't feel that you are sure about the direction that you need to go in and you may not have been making certain decisions this requires this situation is going to require that you take a few steps back away from the situation and begin to try to see it from another vantage point you know how sometimes i talk about rising above a situation where there's this huge mountain and at the two-dimensional level you're just plodding along the ground and the mountain you run into the mountain and you can't see your way around it you're not even able to look up because two dimensions is just left and right uh, backwards and forwards so you can't really see you can't see that it's a mountain that maybe you can scale and cross and that when you get down on the other side then the obstacles are behind you well, imagine yourself being able to see this situation two or three years down the road or one or two months down the road when everything has been resolved and you're able to see it from a different vantage point. Know that a solution is trying to reach you. All right. Um, if you cannot see your way to a solution, clear your energy and be open to a creative solution descending upon you, which you can only do from a place of relaxation, from that life is an adventure place, which is you don't know what's going to happen, that a person can be broke today and be a millionaire tomorrow. Uh, you could be driving down the street tomorrow and win the lottery, just like somebody else could be hit by a truck and or disappear from the face of the planet. Anything can happen at any time and your life can go in an entirely different direction. Trust that because that is the fact that so many good things are coming your way and can actually happen for you, whether you see them or not, they're going to come out of left field just like everything else did. But feel empowered. Feel confident. Take out that sword and cut away those bramble weeds or whatever it is. Or take out that wand and get ready for the magic that is coming into your life you have to feel a sense of confidence and you have to assume the position of the magician you have to embody the magician energy in order for that to come into your life so take a deep breath and as you're breathing in feel that uh what is it we call feel that um energy feel that the snake energy i can't think of the word for it, it starts with a k but feel that energy coming down your back see it going down your spine okay visualize the color allow yourself to be cleared of the heaviness the burdens the worries the concern everything else that's creating tension for you take another deep breath in hold it for a second or two release it through your mouth allow your body to relax and when you take this deep breath know that the highest good is being done for you in this moment take that deep breath and say the highest good is being done for me in this moment just trust just trust that's all you got to do is trust okay you have the power to move along the same continuum to embrace this energy here you're co-creating at all times when you relax then you can pay attention to those tidbits of information that are coming in those intuitive hits your gut instincts and everything that's going to come in that will allow you to move through okay if you're not feeling that energy then what you're doing is you're relaxing so that you can surrender to the events that are going to happen with or without your participation all right so just relax with that because it's important that you get on the other side of this it's important that you come out of this place of spiritual impoverishment and uh emotional destitution to this place here of empowerment and co-creating and manifesting 
All right, this is where the magic is. This is where you may feel difficulty, you feel restriction. And remember everything that we focus on expands. So this will feel worse and worse and worse the more time you spend in it. It's time to shift your energy and focus on what you do want instead of what you don't want. Okay, I wanna pull a few cards from this Mahabharata Oracle. And then we're going to close out. All right. Don't procrastinate. Take the first step to take charge of your life, which usually only has to do with making a decision of some sort. What other messages? What other messages? You can climb out of this, whatever it is. It's, a lot of it is mindset, okay? Shelter, balance. So like I said, this could have to do with home uh, or something in your life is topsy-turvy, something that secures you. And perhaps your ego is bringing in fear. Your ego is talking you into a place where you're in an emotionally topsy-turvy uh, just kind of a situation where you're feeling insecure or you're down on yourself or you're feeling very negative or maybe you are complaining or maybe you just can't see your way through. Remember, that's the ego's role. If it didn't, if it didn't sit around and make you feel afraid about everything and cause you to second guess some of your best ideas, it wouldn't have a role in your life. It, it has, to, has to give itself a purpose. And so that purpose is to latch on to any and everything that could be good and to make you fearful and afraid of your provisions, to make you fearful and afraid of tomorrow, but you do not have to be. What you need is to come into a place of balance. Okay, this card came up like this. This is shelter. This is where we go to seek respite. This could be our home. This could be our job or something to do with our provisions. As I said, it's time to relax and take the load off. To come out of this energy from over here to here, you have to get some perspective. You have to get some balance. You have to relax. Creative solutions will only come in when you are relaxed. Creative solutions from spirit cannot reach you when you're uptight, when you're worried, and when you're fearful. They cannot come in. Sit down, have a cup of tea. Do some stretching, do some deep breathing, whatever it is that you have to do to bring the balance back into your life, you will get some perspective. Okay, that's where you're going to be strongest. I hope this message helps someone that it is for. I love you. I love you. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I hope that you are peaceful. I hope that you are productive. I hope that you feel prosperous. Prosperity has nothing. It has very little to do with finances, although we give finances way too much weight. Prosperity is a state of mind. It's a state of abundance when you feel complete, when you feel that you have everything that you need. And in this moment, if you are breathing, if you have something to put in your mouth, if you have clean water to drink, and you have a shelter over your head, you're abundant. You have everything you need. You're self-sufficient. You have everything you need. If you want more, you're in a position to get more. But in terms of prosperity, you have everything that you need. All right? Live your life on purpose. Live passionately and pursue plenty. <sighs> Lots of love to you. Don't forget, if you haven't purchased my book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, you can get it on Amazon. If you haven't purchased the assignment, which is an eight-week guide, for the daughters of God who uh, are, are dealing with issues related to identity, emotional trauma, uh, self-care and love, and all of those things that enrich your life on your healing journey. That book is also on Amazon. It's by Miss Lauren Smith. She is my baby sister, has a master's degree in therapy, and is amazing. Allow that book to change your life. I love y'all. Bye.